I was learning why um, devil try to attack people and then how he attacks people. Like I want to talk about it today. To tell you why Satan attack a lot. Lord, we are attacking Muhammad. And then already we have learned last time that uh, the best weapon is opposition inside. Gail said to me to tell her, "Oh, honey, you are willing to carry your son as his shoe, Mishwa. This is a whole new Satan." There was a time where, you know, God showed me that. Unless the opposition is inside here, uh, you won't be affected by that opposition. And uh, we need to know that Satan will never attack where your strength Satan is not there. So where our attacking the more matter our sin on, see what I say. Devil always look at your strength. Satan will develop, will develop Where your matter. strength is found. It's, it's out of your strength. Kimo na ngle mataona. That God will take you far. Kimo na mudi ma kono jia wisi sa kuchaka na vi. He make sure that he monitor you. Satan is as idia wa wa shala. Check your strength. Alivele la urudi le na. That's why the Bible says Satan is roaring like a lion. That's why every Satan will be around you. Try to check if you will fear. Where you don't fear, that's where he attacks. I don't know if you hear it. The, the best weapon is betrayal. So, si shumisha se si kaone sa so kona ngudi kuweka. Because you cannot betray unless you are close to. Karu kasi eke kan tauro be kaufi. I get some lento. Me and Mama we have faced a lot. Some people, you know, you take them close like this. Baba, mo ba chia ba ti samo kausi. Kamra wa mo ba tau tutupisha mo na ha. You see, taking people close here. Baba na uchia ba tu ba ti sa kausi ni na. It's very very dangerous. Hindi ko ti ko ti. Very very dangerous. Taking people here. Ko ti. You know, it's very very dangerous. Hindi wey ko ti lo ufita lo njuleo. And then when you are living on earth, you cannot uh, say you want to live alone. You still need people. But make sure that your strength is not in them. If your strength is in the Lord, when they, when they destroy you here and betray you, you are still going to stand and move forward. I don't know if you are hearing that. So this week I've been hearing issues of strength, strength that you need to accomplish your destiny. You need strength so that you reach where God wants you to go. It's not your ability to do things is how you know, far you endure. You know, everybody can still do whatever. But how far you are beaten, rejected, facing what you are facing until the end is what matters. I don't know if you hear me. It's, it's not issue of, you know, you can be achieving this. Everybody can achieve that. But there are things that you cannot achieve that God honors you. It means you to have strength in the Lord. Your strength must be drawn from the Lord. Drawn from the Lord. I don't know if you are hearing that. That I've learned Keeping fight. There are some things that when they are coming to hit your face, you realize that everybody knows that scar. But, but it takes the grace of God and the ability that God gives you to move out and move forward with the same scar. You know, a scar is remembrance. When people look at you, they remember.
remember. But you find that you still remember, but we are moving. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can you see people who are close betraying you? If not, you are not going anywhere. Can you see people who are close betraying you? If they are not doing that, it means there is no assignment in your life. Your assignment is determined by how far you can take what is coming from your opposition. Listen to this. One of the things that I've read about Jesus, I didn't even understand why he called Judas friend. Why he Judas friend. Because the first time when he saw Judas, he said, there comes my friend. But I understood it later that the reason why he called it friend was he was helping Jesus accomplish his destiny. Though Jesus was supposed to go through that, he knew that this man something can happen out of him. You see when you are working with somebody, you just know. You just know that by something it's like it will happen But this But when it happens, Jesus was in agony. It was only one thing that he can pray. That this is the cup that you want me to drink or allow it to pass but let it be your will you know if you reach a level where you say as long as it is your will as long as high kaba ili tato ya hau papa no longer your own will isinyaka can you see your will is whatever you ask kamu kacho di hopela whatever you think kamu kacho di nahanao whatever you ask whatever you think kamu kacho di nahanang lo di hopela is your will itato ya hau but think about now God's will mara nahanang jono itato ya gona ili amodi when you reach a point where you say Lord I'm suffering but if it is your will mara hai li tato ya hau uluki in other words, you are accepting everything. Though it was not your way. When I read that, the Bible says, heaven was watching, same time, the angel was sent to Jesus to come and strengthen him. If, if Jesus was not strengthened, his prayer will be a complaint. You can understand, say, you see now, if it is your way. I mean, he was supposed to be saying, can you see, I'm suffering. Look how I will die. I have never done wrong. But why must I go to the cross? Despise that this is a sin. Now, why must I go to the cross? Despise that this is a sin. When Jesus was saying that, now heaven said, no. Whatever he speaks, it happened. The plan can be changed. Let's strengthen him to face the same plan. So that he'll be able to accomplish what he was there for. I'm here to tell you that unless God strengthened him, he won't achieve things that God wants you to achieve. People can still praise you outside, but inside God knows that this is not the plan he was having with your life. I don't know if you are hearing me. You need God to strengthen you. Tell your neighbors and my friends, you need God to strengthen you. You. you need the strength of God. I don't know if you're hearing that.